Hello all and greetings from Zone 7A and Serenity Gardening and Orchids. My name is Vanessa and I garden again in Zone 7A. And look at my driveway gardens, guys. Look how those begonias just took off. They are gorgeous. And the garden is doing very well. And as you know, this is part three of my garden tour. So moving on. going to walk over to this tree. You're not going to see this one anyway. Okay, guys. So this is my little garden around my pine tree. And let's move in just a little closer so you can see. I have hostas, the yellow flowers. have some autumn joy sedum in there. Those uh, flowers here are from the autumn joy sedum. Okay, more begonias, some violets, and there. That is a Rosa Sharon bush. And here's some impatience that I just put in a little basket. See my little birdie? Moving around, lilies. Okay, here's some things I have in the pot. That's some salvia, some coleus, some chrysanthemums, and some creeping jenny in the back. I have coleus again, and I have um, some petunias in there that are just about bloomed down. More lilies, okay, and in the basket here. I have some hookah buzz painting out a bit. That is the little garden around my beautiful pine tree. Okay, one moment please. And so guys, this is the garden in front of my home. And let me take you up close and personal. I have irises. And then I have a beautiful hydrangea. Some autumn joy sedum in the pot in the back. Colgus, lemon coral sedum, some angelonia, and some dusty miller. Hostas in the pot. I have some dianthus and some petunias. Dianthus and petunias in the other pot also. Down the bottom, the salvia, guys. Here is an azalea bush, my cane plant. Autumn joy sedum, guys. And in the back, I have some cone flowers and some phlox in a pot. Here's my lemon, lemon lime, lime light <laughs> hydrangea, guys. It's a little lime. Okay, holster and some irises. Moving on. Okay, okay, guys, this is the garden on the side of the house. And of course, I have my beautiful Rosa Sharon tree. I have some lilies. And behind them is a hosta. Can you see the hosta? And an azalea bush. There is Mama Nauta, Bee Bomb. Some Black Eyed Susans. Moving right over behind that bush. You see the cannas. Another beautiful hibiscus she's pink and she's glorious so pretty pretty in front of her i have my beautiful beautiful gara i actually love gara guys it's the cane plant again in front of the cane plant hookahs going all the way around i have hookahs down the bottom i believe that is some veronica or salvia in the front of the gara and in the back of the gara the same thing i think is salvia guys not sure but is either salvia or veronica more cane flowers and there's my hydrangea it's just about bloomed out here's a veronica a little pink one she's looking good there's my hydrangea, and I'm hoping she gets more blooms. She was just a baby when I planted her, so she did well. She had blue flowers in the back of her. That's my Wigelda, Wine and Roses Wigelda. She gets beautiful bright pink flowers in the spring. The bottom of her, I have some beautiful coldness. And behind her also, on the side of her also, let me go around so you guys can see. 
is another coldest. Okay, here's a peony. And then there's a pot with begonias, dusty miller, and petunias. There's more black eyed Susan skies. Okay, on to the next garden. I have black eyed Susans. And then you can see the salvia, and that's annual salvia there. It's a great myrtle that I planted, guys. Look at her. And I think I'm going to move her to the front. I said I was going to do it in the spring, but she's growing so fast. I don't want to put roots down too far. I won't be able to move her. Okay, that's more annual salvia. Uh, you can see some black eyed Susans. They will spread, guys. It's all the way over there. Here's the bush. It's all the way over there, guys. That's the peony, of course. It's my little strawberry jar. And of course, it has strawberries all in it. That is my lavender. My little lavender tree. Okay, here. That is ghost peppers. Carolina reapers, guys. Carolina reaper. It's more ghost peppers. Um, that is Italian oregano. And here is a jalapeno. See that big jalapeno pepper? See my jalapenos? Jalapeno peppers in the side, in front of the peony. That's basil. Then you see the rosemary. And then here, that's some kind of parsley. I think it's Italian parsley, guys. Alrighty then. Here's some sage. I have lots of sage. And here's some thyme. Lemon thyme, guys. Okay, some spiderwort, the cane flower. That's another rose of Sharon, but that tree didn't do as well as my other one. I don't see any blooms. I don't know what's going on with her. I do see buds, so we'll see what happens. Okay, beside her, you see the Aztec lilies. It's about um, dying out. Beside that, I have my vanilla strawberry. That I got for a dollar, guys. She is doing great. She even has blooms on her. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm loving it, guys. I didn't expect her to do all that. Um, that's phlox, pink phlox, more phlox. Here's another hydrangea, a blue hydrangea. That's an azalea. Behind the azalea is another hibiscus, and she gets bright pink. You can kind of see them. Okay. Here is some. Jasmine, irises, more Aztec lilies, it's a peony bush, um, and back of the peony bush, that is some salvia. Can you guys see it? I'm trying to get the camera so you can kind of see it. There it is, it's salvia back there, guys. And behind that is some Russian sage. Okay, moving over. That is my Oh my God, it's some hydrangea. Pinky Winky, baby, my Pinky Winky hydrangea. Yes. Beside her are daisies in front, in front of her. There's a small rose bush. And then here's another rose bush, guys, coming down. Then I have Black Eyed Susans. Okay, coming around. I have some, oh, that's foxglove, guys. Kind of pull it up so you see it. This is beautiful. I need to stand it up on something. That's Fox Glove, Dusty Miller, and more Black Eyed Susans. So, God, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to. This is the end of my July garden tour, and I will add the um, hibiscuses while they were in bloom to this. So as I always say, you're blessed to be a blessing. Please like, comment, and subscribe. One moment, please. Okay, guys, she is still just showing out. Bloom after bloom after bloom. Gorgeous. Yes, guys, my hibiscuses are blooming. The one in the back I'm still waiting for, but slowly but surely. Here's another one, guys. Red, beautiful, and pretty, isn't she? One moment. Yep, and the white one is starting to bloom, too. They're all starting to give me a little something. Guys, isn't she gorgeous? Here's another pink one over there. 
Okay, moving on. Here's the one I have in the pot, and she decided it's time for her to show off to the guys. My hibiscuses, they are giving it to me. If you look across, there's another white one, and let me go over there one moment. And that's the mama plant right there. That big one that I just showed you came from her. Any white one you see came from her. I have another one against the fence where I was just working, but it's not blooming yet. And that pink one is just about bloomed out. I'm hoping she gives me more. We shall see. But look, guys, and the bees are just loving them. Yes, God, it's hot biscuit time. And I love it when my babies speak to me. Talk to me, babies. Here's more. More hot biscuits. And you can see how dark it is over here. I didn't think they would bloom, but they are doing better than I expected. Looking good. Yes. And I leave off with my Rosa Sharon tree, which is gorgeous. She's giving it to me. And beside her, I have a pink hibiscus. All right, guys, as I always say, you're blessed to be a blessing. Try to help someone today. Make it a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.